and on to dog number seven and this is a very experienced pairing this is nikki with elsa elsa's seven years old and uh, she's got a good record here um, in these finals having uh, won them in the past now this is a very fast little collie very enthusiastic and nikki says she's a dog in a million and uh, you can just look at her in anticipation. She's into her start position. And off we go. You don't need money when you're famous. They give you whatever you want, Grant. Such as a pair of new shoes with matching laces. Permanent box at the sheep's head races. Strummy on the ride with a sour pickle. A personal horse on a wooden nickel. Look at me. Well, 
Oh, said this dog was going to be enthusiastic and wasn't she there? She's uh, such a busy little dog and uh, was really enjoying herself out there. And it's one of the few dogs that has qualified for not only the Heel Rack to Music Today final, but the freestyle tomorrow. So we will see her again. And they did a lovely section across the middle there, but then the dog was across the front and the handler was turning and it flowed very nicely. And that's going to, I'm sure, um, be looked favourable on by the judges. So the judges will be looking as to whether or not some of those positions were clean. And by that we mean, was the dog actually in the position staying nice and straight? Um, and uh, when you've got an enthusiastic dog like this, sometimes, you know, the dog just can be a little bit exuberant. But uh, Nikki's very good with Elsa keeping her in check. And, and uh, Nikki also is a little bit of a, an actor in a local theatre company and so she's very good at putting on that performance um, and Elsa is her uh, her old soulmate and they so enjoy working together they've been on uh, Team GB many times going abroad um, representing uh, uh, Great Britain and doing very well so I think this is going to score well it will be interesting to see well, how the judges uh, uh, mark this and see whether or not it's going to just get ahead. Oh, it's starting good already. Look at that for the content. Nines across the board there. Accuracy. And uh, almost nines, isn't it? 8.9. So uh, this is looking pretty good. Um, and... Uh, Probably no deductions there. 27.43 just sneaks into that first place position. But uh, we've got two more dogs to go. So uh, will she be able to stay there in first place? And next we're on to Shy. And Shy is nearly 13 years old. He's actually a rescue dog. Um, Christina had him when he was two years old. And uh, they're going to be performing to The Blessing. And he's a very sweet dog. And he was, I think, making his first appearance last year. So another dog that's guaranteed to be wagging its tail, smiling <laughs> throughout this routine with Christina.
Well, a routine that packed with drama there with the with the whole flag waving, a bit of flagography, I think. I think she, uh, Christina definitely uh, uh, wins first place in that flag waving. And the dog wasn't worried about it at all. And uh, a lot of distraction training going on there to keep the dog focused and not looking. And then, of course, Christina lost a sock. <laughs> and uh, that could have easily thrown the handler off, but she showed her professionalism there. She kept going. She just got rid of the sock and off she went. And you wouldn't believe that actually happens quite a bit um, because sometimes this uh, artificial grass just gets hold of the sock and it starts to pull it off. Um, so, but they showed their professionalism and they kept going. And it was a very emotional piece of music. Um, and as I said at the start, it sort of, Oh, I guaranteed you that this dog was going to be wagging its tail and uh, smiling throughout the routine. Such a happy dog um, for uh, 12 years old, nearly 13. And uh, to put up with all, all the flag waving as well, it didn't deter him. And he, he kept going, <laughs> leaping around there, full of the joys of spring. So... A nice choice of music for the team and a nice ending from the team there. And uh, Christina's not only trained collies, she's actually trained Great Danes. Um, she's the only person to compete in the sport of Great Danes. And now she's also got a little chihuahua as well. So she's really like going through the different sizes of dogs. And I'm sure we're going to see her back in this main ring. Perhaps with a chihuahua one day, you never know. So here we are with our scores and uh, an 8.9 for content from Jan and a 9 there for accuracy and uh, let's have a look at the interpretation. They, they sort of like that flag waving and the whole use of it within the musical interpretation and 25.23, a good score. Right on to handler number nine. And this is Helen Dennis, a very experienced handler with her nine-year-old, uh, Cara. And Cara has been on uh, Team GB as well. Uh, she is performing to a track called Carried Away. And uh, these are another experienced team guaranteed to put in a good performance. Apparently, uh, little Cara here likes nothing better to lying in muddy puddles. We had nights of endless music We were dizzy dance until the dawn we were free singing sweet harmonies with the city But maybe that was someone else's song Back to earth again You knew where this was headed And honestly you're better off Better here where you belong You got caught up in the colors You got wrapped up in the right You thought and the stars were on your side It was lovely while we lost it But it wasn't meant to stay Still, you let yourself get carried away I guess I let myself get carried away We got carried away Carried away We got mixed up in the madness But wasn't it a perfect mess we made? Well, you live and you learn You return to the safe and the simple And behind our walls we fall back into place Back to earth again You're through with pretending Cause this is how the ending now you're here where you belong We got caught up in the colors We got wrapped up in the right We thought the feeling was forever 
It was lovely while it lasted It was never meant to stay But we let ourselves get carried away I guess I let myself get carried away It was lovely while it lasted It was never meant to stay Guess I let myself get carried away What's a good Well done, Cara. And uh, a lovely uh, choice of music there. And it's sometimes really hard to find these pieces of music. And that piece of music had quiet bits and soft bits and then it, it built and that really helped the handler sort of show off their musical interpretation so they could choose to do um, a side pass in one of the positions on the quieter bit um, and then really like move out and show faster pace in a position and that will do well with the judges in the musical interpretation section and she's a dainty little dog, isn't she? She's uh, another one with a smile on her face. And they are an experienced team. They, they know the job. They uh, perform in this atmosphere. And actually, Cara will also be in the freestyle final tomorrow. And it takes a lot just to do one of these routines. So to be able to do both a heel work and a freestyle routine takes a lot of thought. Many of these handlers will have spent months thinking about these routines, not necessarily training them, but thinking about the music. At nine years old, you know your dog, you know what it's good at, you know what you want to showcase to the judges. Um, they don't, as long as they do the required amount of heel work in this uh, division, they don't have to do every single heel work position in every single direction. So, uh, but the handlers will have spent hours deliberating on what goes where and how one thing is linked to another so the scores are in and uh, here we go a nice 8.9 there from Christine the head judge so some nice eights and a nice bit of a musical interpretation there as well so uh, no deductions I would imagine 24.93 Right, so we've got into our last dog, and uh, 27.43 is the one to beat. Yes, so welcome, welcome to Crufts. Um, oh, you've got, you've brought your fans with you as well. <laughs> um, just a quick question. I think everybody, sure, in the audience and at home, is very inspired by what they've seen here today. So, how does somebody start in Here Work to Music as a beginner? What's the first uh, that's thing? That's a good question. And the uh, kind thing of the sport, heel work to music or freestyle, is that any dog can do it. Uh, as long as the dog is, and you are both enjoying it and the dog is having fun, and most of the times it's uh, bring a toy, bring some food, and you need some uh, body language to explain to your dog how to follow your body movements of, of the handler, like following a hand cue. Uh, and, and yeah, it, you can... Uh, different with uh, through the legs, but that's today it's heel work day, so the dog has to walk on the right hand side, left hand side, but you start with a lure of the hand, so the dog follows and knows where to be at the handler's leg. And yeah, as long as you have fun and reward the dog a lot, they, they will love it to do. That's brilliant, thank you. I mean, they all look like they're having fun, so lots of reward, um, toys and treats Trace. to get them started and enjoying smile it. Smile yourself, smile a lot to smile. your dog. Smile, yes. fantastic. <laughs> Have fun, brilliant. Thank, thank you. you so much, thank you. Back There's to you, Tom. Brigitte, That's what it's all about. our uh, international okay, judge, our and uh, she's Please been here competing before, so she knows what it's like to uh, be in this big Maverick. ring. So our last Cameron dog Neal. is number 10, and it's a German Shepherd dog, a different dog to a collie, and he is a stunner. He's uh, called Maverick, he's six years old. They're performing to Still Loving You. And uh, this is uh, 
as I say, a bit of a rarity to see a German Shepherd at this level. But uh, this team, they have uh, a lovely bond. And uh, I'm sure they're going to enjoy their first time in this big ring today. What a handsome dog that is. And a, a super boy enjoying his first time in the ring. And a good choice of music for that dog. If you, you had sort of a bit of a rocky feel, didn't it? It was a bit of rock. It had quite a heavy beat. And because he's a big dog, he could take it. Whereas, you know, the first dog we had out this morning, which was Fame, the little Papillon Cross, um, that would have been overshadowed by that heavy music. But and that's what it is about picking the right music for the dog and this dog as well you know, he's a big dog he's not perhaps as nimble as some of the collies so the handler could use his trot show off his trot show off his exuberance in his positions um, because uh, 
you're trying to sell to the judges that you know your dog is the best. Look at that trot there, lovely dog. Um, and you're trying to sell the routine to the judges. You're trying to say to the judge, my dog is the best. It can do the best work. We're doing the best interpretation of this music, and uh, it's about looking at your dog's strengths. And uh, in this case, his trot was really good one. And again, you can just tell that bond that these two have. And I'm sure we might see them back in this ring again. Because uh, he's got such character, that dog. And I'm sure was a bit of a crowd favourite there. So that was our last dog. We're looking for a score above 27.43, which is Nikki with Elsa. That fizzy little red collie. And uh, the judges just making their final deliberations before entering their uh, scores in. Well, there we are. So 8.8 .8 from Christine for uh, content. 8.9 for accuracy from Christine as well there. And uh, interpretation, again, 8.9. So a little bit of deductions. Perhaps there was a little bit of noise there, but hey, 24.13. Lovely for uh, Cat and Maverick. So that means Nikki with the lovely Elsa. Combine away Wilder Stream is her official name. Uh, they've gone and won it again. So uh, they've kicked off their Crufts few days really well. And uh, if you're around tomorrow, tune back in for the freestyle. And the freestyle's a little bit different because freestyle, it's where they haven't really got any particular sort of positions they've got to do they can really be as imaginative as they like. So you're going to see, again, a wide variety of pieces of music. And uh, we're then obviously got on Saturday the International, which is highly exciting. Now you can see the final results there. Uh, in first pace, Nikki uh, on 27.43. Lucy Heath on 26.97. And uh, Lucy Creek with that lovely Bakersfield, only three years old, 25.87. Michelle and Nia, after that, it was Nia's first time in the big ring. You, I bet Michelle's very pleased with that, uh, 25.53. And then Christina with the flag, if you remember, and the lost sock, and she's gone into fifth place. Uh, Helen um, with uh, Cara, 24.93. Carol well, with Legend, 24.20. The lovely jazz there into uh, eighth it place. Presentation time. So it's presentation time now. Three judges who've done a wonderful job. Please give them a huge round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Firstly, our three judges. Let's bring them into the arena. Please come judges forward. there coming uh, forward. They're, they were uh, doing a good job there. It takes a lot of concentration. I've judged here uh, a few times myself, so I know what the pressure is is like um, with everybody looking at you, having to make those quick decisions. But that's why these judges have been chosen. Uh, they're experienced in doing it. They've uh, been competing many years. So here they all come. For the presentation all of our 10 competitors. Some again you will see tomorrow in the freestyle finals. Red and white border collies were obviously the name of the game today, because look at that, we've got first and second. Lovely red and white border collies. Uh, having a good tug and a play, because that's what these dogs think this ring is. It's just a big playground for the dogs. They, uh, they love doing their training, and uh, Nikki and Lucy, actually, who so are first and second, they're actually great friends as well. They often train together, so I'm sure they're pleased for each other. Uh, thank you so, so much to all of our handlers and their dogs. It is now time for the presentation. Please welcome competition manager Steve Croxford to do our presentation. And we start with our winner. Your winner of the Crufts Heel Work to Music Competition 2024 with seven year old Combine Away Wildest Stream, Nikki Heinsen. So there's Nikki 
taking her first place trophy in receipt. And she'll be back later on today, well, giving her spotlight performance. And that's a really special close. thing for these handlers to be performing in this big ring under spotlight. The good thing about Elsa is you know it's she's not going to let you down. She uh, just does it really for the love of it. She might have the toys and everything there, but but uh, she's one of those special dogs. Lucy with the lovely Foxy. Foxy, as I said earlier, she's been a bit like a fine wine. She's taken a while to mature. And uh, now as she's got older, they've, they've come to an agreement. And you go from one end of the scale to another, where you've got Bakersfield, three years old. All of his heel works music journey in front. And I'm sure we're going to, uh, to see him. And actually, we'll see him back tomorrow in the freestyle final as well. So them all taking a good lap of honour there. So that's the Hillworks Music final over with. There's going to be a brief break now before the agility starts again.